What is going on, Chroma Youth? It is your girl, Sozzle here, and we tonight we are going to have so much fun. We have got so much planned for you guys this evening, and we, we want you to feel God's presence and get to know God if you don't already know him. And so next up, next up, we are heading into worship. So I hope you enjoy. faithful hand we've seen your faithful hand your mercy without end the king who bled and died a God who sacrificed this thing be the throne be enthroned upon the praises of a thousand generations. You are worthy, Lord of all. Unto you, the slain, a risen King. We lift our voice with heaven, singing, Worthy, Lord of all. All through this life we lead All through eternity Our endless praise we cry Jesus be glorified Let's lift it up And all through this life we lead yeah, yeah, yeah. all through eternity our endless praise we cry and Jesus be glorified let's sing it again and Jesus be glorified and be Thrown upon the praises of a thousand generations, you are worthy, Lord of all. Unto you, and unto you, the slain and risen King, we lift our voice with heaven, singing, Worthy, Lord of all.
days of a thousand generations You are worthy, Lord of all Unto you the slain and risen King We lift our voice with heaven Singing worthy, Lord of all
how far you go You say you love us You say you love us You say you love us yeah. One more time and Here is all my love is yours No condition when you fall me no, I won't resist it. Here is all my love is yours. No condition when you for me. So, guys, we've had an amazing time of worship, and we're going to move on for the talk for tonight. Um, so, before we move on, I'll quickly pray. So, Lord, I just thank you for. Um, the chance to worship, the chance to come together and worship your name. And as we move on to our talk for tonight, I pray that, Lord, you will open our ears to listen and our hearts to receive the message and the word that you have in store for us today. In your name, amen. Amen. Hey, Crow Youth. It is amazing to worship with you guys, as always. And this week, I want to say, if you've been back at school, I hope you've had a great time. And if you're going back next week, we are praying for you as well. And that's sort of what I want to talk about this evening. I'm going to talk about change. What is change? What does it look like? And what does God say about change? Because right now, like some of you are going back to school. Some of you are going to different schools, moving to college, moving away to uni. There's a lot of things that are changing. For some of you, you've gone to school and you're, you've been put in bubbles. You're not with the same people. You're, you're not seeing certain teachers and everything is changing around you. And change can be so unsettling. We're so used to normality and we, and we fix some of our like, security in normality. But this evening, I want to say change is good. And God sees change and God creates change, but he creates it for his goodness. So what we're going to do to talk about change, we're going to jump right into the Bible. But don't worry, you're going you're gonna to find this verse pretty easy. So we're going to go to Genesis 1, verse 1. So find that in your Bibles. I'm reading from the message this evening. So if you're on your phone, you can choose that version. So Genesis 1, 1 says this. First this, God created the heavens and the earth. All you see, all you don't see. Earth was a soup of nothingness, a bottomless emptiness, an inky blackness. God's spirit hovered like a bird over the watery abyss. Then God spoke light and light appeared. God saw that light was good and it separated light from dark. Now, this is probably a verse you've heard loads of times and you hear that God creates the, the land, he creates the sea, and then he creates animals and the birds of the sky, the fish of the sea, and he creates humans. But actually, I want to talk about the first four words in this, in this verse, the first four words of the Bible. Now, as a kid, if I wanted to, to know anything, if I wanted to know about people, I'd be like, so how tall are they? What do they look like? What's this? You ask about physical things. You ask about different things. Yet here, the character of God is the first thing that is spoken about. What is God like? And I just want to look at these two words. God created. God created things. He saw the... He saw the earth and I love how in here it's all called the soup of nothingness. This big black nothingness, this big water abyss. And it says the spirit of God hovered over it. God saw what was there. He saw how things were and he chose to create. And the nature of creating means things change. When you create, you're changing something. So God spoke light and light appeared and it was good. So what change is God speaking into right now? What is he saying? In this moment, as your, as your things are changing around you, as your friendship groups look different, as your school looks different, as your physical surroundings might look different, what is God creating in you? God is always moving. God is always speaking. And he's always speaking life. There's a verse that says, God came to give life and life to the full. And that's what he's speaking over you right now, over your circumstance. And in order to do that, 
he creates. He creates change. Change is movement. Change is good. Now, some of you are probably like, yeah, Mills, that's all good and easy to say. Like, of course, creating light was good. Of course, creating the earth and then creating everything was good. But I don't like this change. It makes me sad. I don't like that family situations have changed over lockdown. I don't like that my school doesn't look the same. I don't like that I don't have the same routine. I don't like this change. But God's saying, what, what are you seeing in this change? Because right at the beginning, it says, God created light in the darkness for he was hovering over the abyss. He's there in the change. As you step into school on Monday or Tuesday, because it's a bank holiday, whenever you go into school, God is there. He's hovering over you. He sees the places that are difficult. He sees the things that are hard and he never leaves you. He never forsakes you. He is there with you. And in that, he's creating his goodness. In that, he's bringing his change and he's using you to bring his change around you, where you're at. Because God's plans are perfect. Nothing he does is to make our lives worse. God always wants to bring goodness out of every circumstance. Everything he does works together for our good. So my challenge this week to you, Creme Youth, as you continue to go into this new season, as we, as we head back to school, as we head back to loads of different things, but everything's a bit different. I want you to ask Holy Spirit, what, what's he creating in you? What's he creating in your situations? What opportunities is he creating for you? Where can you bring his light into the darkness? And for those of you that are feeling overwhelmed and that are feeling stressed, I challenge you to, to look above where you're seeing and look to heaven. Look where God is with you, hovering over the abyss, hovering over that soup of nothingness. He is there with you in it. So we're going to pray just to close. So where you're at, just put your hand on your heart. Because understanding change, understanding differences and understanding where God is creating things comes from our heart. That's where our first understanding of it comes from. So Holy Spirit, we pray. We pray that you would speak to our hearts. That as we step into all of these changes, as we step into different environments, that we would know that the God of everything is there. The God who creates. The God who creates goodness. God who creates peace, the God who creates light. He has never, ever left us. And we pray this week, Lord, for, for opportunities to bring your light, to bring your light into the places of change, that in the midst of darkness, your light would shine bright. Lord, use us this week to be your vessels where we're at. Amen. Chrome Youth, we loved hanging out with you guys today, worshipping and hearing the word of God. I can't wait for next week. But remember, guys, we've got our live stream at 10.30 on the Sunday. We'd love to see you guys in the comments. I'll be there. <laughs> but you guys have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you guys on Sunday at the live stream. Bye.